In this video, I will show you how you can display a SMS received from a GSM SIM on a dot matrix display. Only the messages that are specially encoded in a certain format are displayed in the dot matrix display, but you can also modify it to display any message you want. It's all up to you. It is very easy and you can use it for your personal use or build it for your school or college projects. So now, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's first talk about the parts required. An Arduino of your choice, 4 cascaded dot matrix display, but you can also use more. A GSM module and some LEDs with current limiting resistors are needed for this project. I have two types of GSM modules, both of which will work completely fine. But let's see the major differences between them. First things first, this one is very compact while this one requires larger space. This one does not have a RS-232 to TTL converter while this one has a DP9 socket and a MAX-232 IC which does the job. But to use it with Arduino, we won't be needing it. The smaller one requires exact voltage in between 3.7 and 4.4 volts which can be a little pain and it also needs a micro sim. The larger one has a built-in voltage regulator which takes 12 volts and converts it to the working voltage and it has a slot for old large size sim. The short antenna of this module created a problem for me sometimes while the antenna of this module is good at its job. Although both work same, I will be using the bigger one in this project. Let's first test the GSM module. Connect the TX to digital pin 8, RX to digital pin 7 and common the grounds. Upload the sketch to Arduino. Apply 12 volts to GSM module. When the network LED is blinking once a second, it is connected to the network. Then open serial monitor and press S for sending message or press R for receiving message. You can change the mobile number and message to be sent in the send message function. If this works fine, move on to the next step. Now to check dot matrix display, add MD parole and MD max 72xx libraries. But before using it, go to Arduino libraries folder, open MD max 72xx library folder then go to docs and open any HTML file. Then determine the type of dot matrix display you have. Mine is FC16. After this, go to src folder and open mdmax72xs.h file. Modify the header file according to the module you have and then save it. Now you can check your module. Connect the chip select pin to pin 10. Data in pin to pin 11 and clock pin to pin number 13 and apply power. Open test sketch from the examples of the library and upload it. The dot matrix display should display something like this. You might want to place something on top of matrix that is little dark but is transparent as it is hard to read it directly. Try a red color acrylic sheet for best results. Now we will add a LED to pin 12 and upload the sketch. Always keep in mind that while uploading a sketch, pin number 0 and 1 must not be connected to anything. After the sketch is uploaded, connect the RX pin of GSM module to TX pin of Arduino and TX pin of GSM module to RX pin of Arduino. Open Serial Monitor. I sent a message in this format. And as you can see, the LED blinks and the SMS is displayed in the dot matrix display. You can also check the message in serial monitor. Again, I send another message and the displayed message changes. If you want to change the format of the SMS, change this part of the code to your wish. Let me show you one more thing. Let's remove the memset function and upload the sketch. I sent a SMS after which I sent another message which is shorter in length than the previous one. Notice the problem? 
What is happening here is that the array in which we are storing our SMS does not reset when a new SMS is received. It just overwrites the previous one. So to reset it, memset function is used. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you are new, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.